Hello, my name is Vispianko. In this video, we will have a look at a Tech A isotope, a glow in the dark key fob if you want. Uh, this is the paperwork that comes with it. You get that in green or in blue. On the back side, we see how the parts go together. Everything is included except the tritium, that is 3 by 11 millimeter. That's the size what you need. That is not included. The item comes in a simple polymer bag and the small parts are in, in that plastic container. I did go ahead and uh, did assemble it simply for test it out and uh, to uh, be able to give positive or negative feedback how it goes. Uh, the assembly is a bit of fiddling I would say but it should be easy possible for pretty much everybody. Now first we're gonna put the light a bit down and then we see the item glowing that is uh, the lower part, the bigger part here we see is that aqua glow, uh, basically a glow in the dark material that you need to charge with a flashlight. And on top we have the tritium part, in this case green, and we see the difference in the glowing uh, possibility there already pretty well. So the, the tritium is glowing 24-7. Hope the camera see that pretty pretty good there. The glow in the dark material that needs to be charged with the flashlight uh, that loses uh, rapidly the ability to glow. Uh, such material glows relative strong or can glow relative strong. The tritium not so much so as I quick give it a bit with a flashlight. Uh, we see how much stronger the item now glows there. So basically in this system we have both. Instead of uh, having just the, the tritium that always glow but only a little and the glow-in-the-dark uh, pellet part that you need to charge with the flashlight or sunlight whatever external charge and then it glows and then it gets dim again to the point that it doesn't glow you have a combination of both and this in a nicely made stainless steel housing uh, not too big not too small on top we have the split ring that came with it so you can carry it on the keychain Manufactured is it really nice. The quality of the build is, is nice. We see on the bottom part there is that o-ring and I'm gonna remove it quick so that we can see the glow pellet. Now assembly and disassembly is a bit of fiddling so that is what holds the glow in the dark pellet in place in a groove. Put that over here then the item comes out. So this uh, rubber washer I would say is all the way on top. Then the pellet comes and then the pellet is secured in that groove with the rubber o-ring. So that's basically the glow in the dark material. See that again, how strong it glows. Give it again a dab with the flashlight. And then it really glows. Comparing to the inside, here we have just the tritium. And you see it's still glowing there.
but of course way weaker than a regular glow in the dark is possible. Of course this one is also bigger. Uh, I think they did go with the smaller size of the tritium uh, because that is easier to get as bigger as the tritium is uh, as uneasier uh, it is to get. Uh, I'm quite likely going to make a special video, a uh, dedicated video about uh, the tritium. Uh, tritium is low radioactive so you need to be a bit careful uh, how you uh, work with it or handle it and all that. Also you need to check the local laws, how it is uh, regulated. Uh, tritium is mainly or commonly being used in uh, gun sites our days, the night sites uh, pioneered by uh, Trichicon and Meprolite. Uh, they both or pretty much all of them all different brands like Ameriglo and uh, and uh, XLZ that are currently on the on the market uses a Swiss made uh, tritium and uh, I'm gonna explain that a bit uh, in detail in the other video directly about about uh, tritium because that would go uh, too far. You just need to be careful as you handle it. You know, it's not uh, just uh, like the the glow in the dark uh, pellet that is solid, that is uh, uh, not dangerous in that regard. You know, of course, if you swallow it, you know, it would not be too healthy. Of course, you know, but the the glass capsule of the tritium uh, is rather fragile, especially at the endpoints because the endpoints are uh, uh, melted down for closing the, the glass tube with the tritium in it with a laser so uh, sometimes it has a bit of uh, a uh, dimple on it uh, so so there you need to be careful it depends on how how well it's uh, cut it off anyway uh, that's that's all gonna follow in a in a special video so all in all uh, I would say the item is great. It gives you both worlds. They of course make different variations so you can uh, get get a uh, key forbs uh, for just the tritium or just for the for the glow in the dark uh, pellet uh, separately as well different colors different variations on their website and and uh, Instagram Bulk build quality is outstanding I would say it's a bit of a fiddling to put it together. So if you uh, have two left hand uh, thumbs, give it to some friend that know what they are doing or uh, go to the local uh, gunsmith or something like that, knife maker, uh, you know, people that uh, are able to, to fiddle with it. Because uh, especially the part with the tritium that needs to be uh, done correctly and, and safely and, and uh, that you don't gonna have any uh, problems even as it is tiny it still has tritium in it and uh, uh, I would not uh, like to damage uh, such such tubes at all so that much about the uh, tech a isotope uh, glow-in-the-dark key fob